you're back. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure the monolith doesn't get damaged. Your thoughts? No one involved was fully in the wrong, but no one was really right either. That's how it felt to me. A useful understanding to reach. Now, your answer. Saray, let us hear your answer to this. My answer is I want to save Heldolf. The Shepherd's job doesn't just boil down to quell the Lord of Calamity, or even clean up the previous Shepherd's mistakes. When Malevolence consumes Seraphim and turns them into Hellions, we save them. Yet when it brings misfortune and grief to humans, we say they only have themselves to blame. It doesn't seem fair. So that is your answer. Dunno if it counts as one. There are humans out there just like Heldolf. He just happened to play one part in a cascade of terrible events. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't sympathize with him, but I will say it would strike me as bizarre to completely let him off the hook for the horrors he brought to such a peaceful village. And what he's trying to do now is still messed up, right? Absolutely. It's wrong, period, and I will stop it. But even so, you would save this man? If I won't save humans like Heldolf, who've had Hellionhood thrust upon them, I'll never see humans and Seraphim live in peace. I see. So then you... Really are an idiot. Yep. Saray is Saray, and we love him for it. That's right. He couldn't be anyone else even if he tried. So, Mr. Teller, that what you were looking for? For such a man, ending his loneliness would be the sole path to salvation. Do you understand what that means? Taking his life, I would expect. Saray, can you carry that burden with you? Indeed. That, even more than your answer, is the crucial matter. Right. What's important now is whether you truly will not waver. Or rather, whether you truly believe in your answer and are willing to accept its repercussions. No matter what happens, and no matter what cost. Wait, are you asking him to prove his determination in battle? Put bluntly, yes. In order to defeat one who has been abandoned in time, the bonds of strength must be severed. Defeat the one who has been abandoned in time? You can't be talking about... How to sever the bonds of strength. So eternal loneliness is a curse, you say? It makes sense now. Old man. Now then, show me! Return to the- Don't hold back! I certainly won't! But even if there is a way to sever the bonds of strength- And if we would actually use it- Then what would happen to you? Do you see why it is you waver? Settle this, Shepard! Do not let Maven's conviction go to waste! Break out! Blue Flurry! Blue Flurry! Ocean Flurry! Dancing Ember! Glimmer Dragon! Blue Flurry! Blue Flurry! Ocean Flash! Ocean Flash! Ocean Flash! Dancing Ember! Burst! Break down! Break on through! Look out! Blue Flash! Ocean Flash! Look out! Ocean Flash! Burst! Ocean Flash! Ocean Flash! Ready? 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 Ready?
to see is not a mere display of strength. So you really are immortal? You understand by now, don't you, the way to defeat me? Yes. Turn my friends into attacks with wills of their own, and use those attacks to pierce through the bonds of strength. What Dazzle said he did. Then why aren't you doing it? I'm not a Hellion. Even if you make use of that means, your friends will not be consumed with malevolence. <laughs> you won't admit it. After all, 
To demonstrate that method upon me is tacit acknowledgement that it is your only option withheld off as well. But Maven, isn't there any other way at all? No. Even Lila's power is not enough to purify one as consumed with malevolence as he is. You should know that. Saray. Rose. If you weigh lives on scales, you will falter at the crucial moment. But if you do waver, and your wavering leads you to a faulty answer, you may never recover. In this way does virtue become vice. <sighs> but if you will die for the answer you truly believe in, even failure will not stop you from rising again. What you should fear is not failure, but rather that fear itself will compromise your belief in your answer. Lila. Now then, Saray. If you intend to make this a farce, then I shall end it. Show me, not just with words, but with the spirit of belief. I shall end it. Luminous Gamer! It is a damned shame, Lila. Unfortunately, it looks like they still don't understand. So, it was all for naught. No, just a little bit more. Even when they resented their own helplessness, even when they grieved for a fallen comrade, even when evil schemed to lead them astray, Saray and his companions have pushed ever on, never losing themselves. Knowing fear, but not malevolence, they came all this way to stand here, together! You're really something. I don't like having regrets, and I don't like giving them to other people either. Don't you forget it. Saray, Rose, you paralyzed or something? Going up against Hellions is already life or death. It shouldn't be new to you. Edna... Savid... It's just as they said, Rose. Saray, do you remember what I told you? Back at Lady Lake? I didn't come all this way just to be a liability. I said it before. Do I need to say it again? No. If the Shepherd Saray truly believes in his answer, then surely may he bring an end to the Age of Chaos. Then show us. Show us your answer. Saray! Everyone. You have good friends, lad. Darn right. Let's go! Come at me! Lord of Lord! Don't, don't just charge in there! Maven! This is... My answer! <sighs> Old man! Maven? I thought I could hold out until you finished it, but... Maven? Oh, I'm so sorry it came to this. You're an idiot, too. You're not wrong, but I have no regrets. What's going on? What are you saying? Come on! It's because I violated the taboo. If the user breaks the terms of the oath, the special powers granted by the oath likewise vanish. You should have told us. Please. Do not blame Lila. She merely did what she believed was right for all of you. And it was my decision to make as well. I believe too. In my answer. And in my friends. And for their sake, I will not waver in what must be done. So there will be no regrets. It is time to say our farewells. I promise. I'll never forget what you've told me, Maven. And I'll teach it to others as well. Saray, 
you. <sighs> Never did I imagine I would die with others by my side. Thank you. Let's go! To Camlon? Yeah. Maltellus should still be there. Let's make for Alicia first. There should be a road there leading to Camlon. We saw Gramps come running when the village fell. Oh, that makes sense. So Camlon was close to Alicia. Very likely. That fits with the idea that it was a strategically important location for Highland, Rollins, and the Northern Powers. Yeah, good point. But it looked to me like the road to Camlon was sealed off. Yeah, by my mother. You can cry if- I told you I'm not going to cry! Looks like this is the final battle. Let's end this. Right on! Just waiting for me to pick you up, weren't you?
impossible to catch him in the darkness. It's a good thing it's not night yet. Well, make sure you don't get kidnapped in broad daylight. Uh, um... Break down! Break on through! How are Saray's capabilities as a shepherd? Well, I think he's quite talented. I think you're kind of overrated. Did you hear? Another war coming on! Yeah, looks like both Rollins and Highland are ready to take the kid gloves off. Yeah, and I hear it's all going down at Glavin Basin. This is too good! Damn straight medicine and coffin! Another war? <laughs> this is bad. If any more malevolence collects... That's probably exactly what he wants. You mean Heldolf, yeah? All right! I finally found where he's located. Hey! Careful! You okay? Thank yous. I'm a bit weary from my journeys. But it's time to settle the scores. Gotta hurry to the cat's corner. The turtles? He's still hurt? He's going to Cat's Corner, huh? Is he going to have a duel there? It's the illusionary village where cats live. <laughs> it might become a huge cat and turtle free-for-all. So, I wonder, where exactly is this Cat's Corner? I've never heard of it before. I don't know much either. We're gonna have to do some research. Hmm. Let's start by asking Seraphim who are knowledgeable about regional lore. Good idea. Guardian Seraphim are more likely to know something about the lore or legends. have happened
Reporting casualties for the Blue Tempest Knights. 118 wounded, 30 dead. Be careful. Report. Approximately 50 casualties on the enemy side. Is it over already? Don't kid yourself. It's no more than a skirmish along the front lines. If both armies were clashing full on, the body count wouldn't be anywhere near this low. This... low? Where are the Platinum Knights? Sir, they're still struggling to evacuate Lastenbell. Can't they see there's no time? Saray, there's no point in just staying here. The Platinum Knights are in Lastenbell. Let's go see Sergei. Yeah. We were all <clears throat> captured in Pendrago. They said we murdered the Cardinal at the behest of the Kingdom of Highland. <laughs> what? But I was the one who... It was Lunar. He approached the Empire and suggested they frame it this way. Of course, the Empire was just itching for a justification to launch a war. If they could tell the world that Highland had assassinated their Cardinal... Almost too perfect. Lunar laid an ambush for us. If Egil hadn't shielded me, I would have... I'm sorry. I couldn't do anything but run away. We knew this might happen sooner or later. Part of the job description. But still... Rose, you should go. But we have to stop the war! We all know what they'll do now that they've trumped up a justification. Dispose of the evidence. You can't leave them like that, can you? After all, they're your family. You said it yourself, didn't you? You and I have two very different jobs. Thank you. I'll be back. What about us? Should we be rescuing the scattered bones or stopping this war? Both are vital, but we can't be in two places at once. Sergei's in Lastenbell. Alicia's probably at the Highland Army base. Then... If I remember correctly, wasn't there some kind of cave or something leading to Highland around here? Right, the Lamarack Cave. and prevarications. That's all you're good for! Yeah, why aren't you fighting back against Tyler? Please, calm down and listen to me. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop war from breaking out. There's time to prevent the worst. Yes. I'm trying to minimize the casualties. Screw that! Did my dad and brother die because of those Highland bastards so you could run away? You useless, bleeding-heart pacifist! So we just hand Last and Bell over to Highland, is that it? Never! You must understand the danger here. Highland is sweeping towards us with their entire army. Then we'll fight back with our entire army! The killing will never stop at that rate! A knight afraid of killing his enemies? You should be ashamed of yourself! Yeah, get out there and slaughter those Highland scum! It's our city and our property! We'll never surrender it! You coward! You don't even care! Your job should be to protect us! Let's step outside of town for a moment. Don't you run away, you craven good-for-nothing! 
traitor! Chicken knight, have you no pride? Put your life on the line for justice! Ignorant townsfolk? Nevertheless, I can understand where they're coming from. But still... The citizens' malevolence has suddenly intensified. It's like there's something else going on. Sergei, we'd like to help you with this. Ah! A Hellion! Sergei, watch out! Daddy! There's something wrong here, but... Men, take Formation 3! We cannot pull back if the people of Rollins are threatened. Run, child! <gasps> we should join them. Right! I'll thank you to stop interfering. Not after all my work setting this up. So you were behind this! Sergei's in- Darn it! Did we lose her? Wait, there's- Huh? Sergei and the Knights? Yes, we were able to drive off the attackers. Zavid! Huh? Whoops. Don't respond to the Seraphim, stupid. To fool even the wind. Impressive illusions. Good thing her acting sucks. I'm just too much of a people person. What are you up to disguised as Sergei? The question is, what am I not up to? But I know what he's up to right now. And that's getting torn to pieces by Hellions! <laughs> Bring it on, Shepard! This feels wrong! That's the point! Don't hold back, got it? Right! This isn't Sergei, no matter what! It's over! Back on! Sonic Ross! You better feel it! Sonic Ross! Get on! Too close! No escape! You're done! Ready? How's this? Gonna feel the threat! You're done! 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 It's over! You're done! 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 I won't lose! I it over! You won't lose! 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 I'm not here! 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 I'm not
Regret making Saray a shepherd? Saray is an admiral. Hm. You show no mercy at all, do you? Why would we? You're not Sergei. But of course, you and Chivalry Timbers, two peas in a pod. Friend equals save. Enemy equals kill. No malevolence equals protect. Hellion equals exterminate. What a simple and beautiful world you live in. How utterly convenient. Huh? What are you getting at? I'm saying that all it comes down to is your ego. An ego that is the foundation of malevolence. That's not true! Yes, I fan the flames, I won't deny it. But it's perfectly natural for the people to be filled with rage and hatred. But you call it malevolence and you try to stamp it out. The mission of the Shepherd, the code of knighthood. Whatever name you devise, the excuse remains the same. Tell me, Shepherd. What definitive proof do you have that you yourself are not corrupted by malevolence? Hmm? Nonsense! Saray is not corrupted! Of course not. As pure and righteous as your previous Shep- I'm not doing this for the sake of some mission or person. I'm doing it because I believe in it. That's all. And Sergei is the same way. A lame stab at justification. Wrong. I've always been like this. And he always will be. With the support of your friends, huh? So that's what sustains you. Saray. Let's go back. Sergei will be all right. Ray, over there! Looks like their battle is over. 
Sergey! I'm... I'm fine. Captain Sergey, we heard what happened. Thank you for rescuing this child. I, I just wanted to avenge my father and my brother. I know how you feel. But if you act on every impulse, you're no different from the beasts of the forest. I didn't care about any of that. I thought if I could kill even one Highlander, I could die happy. You should know better than that. We're all human. There's no reason we can't find a better path to follow. Can we search for that better path together, so that no more have to die? Very well. We'll hear you out. That's all I can promise. I am honored. The truth is, I too yearn to fight like a beast. Everything I say is a lie. I must be entirely corrupted by malevolence. Not at all, Sergei. I wonder what Rose is up to. I hope she isn't doing anything unwise.